What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the fly book. You want to wait for you? Oh, uh, Nice. Ew. Oh, sorry. I got to control allergies. that. You got some napkins, like, in the On trash. Deck? Yeah, in the trash, some very side. Uh, Where's your, I'll like, Allegro or some shit? That's disgusting. Yeah. You no, know, I put money on these, bro. And I'm going to want them back. As yeah, I have point. a roll of tissue. Okay, good. For, for what? Your fucking bank yeah, heist? for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's mine. For what things go bad, man? <laughs> I need you these money back. The streets. Put it in the bag, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it gets caught in the alleyway. <laughs> 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 Only yeah. nigga in a black and white striped sweater. <laughs> <laughs> the mask is just over. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. Fucking Batman beats the shit out of me, bro. <laughs> the blue and gray Batman. So he goes, Kapow, be like, yeah. <laughs> Trump just got shot in the. Yeah. Trump was shot at. Yeah, he got shot in the fucking ear. In the, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think it was the first shot that hit him. No, no, no. It was like three. Like, which is even crazier. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Bam, got him. And then you saw just his ear, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they found it sometime later, yeah. Like, I hit him. He just, no. <laughs> no he, you know what? I don't want, he was probably like, what? You should have, oh, that's kind of badass. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 20 year old. Dylan or whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know nothing about him. He was in a BlackRock commercial. Oh, really? Yeah. That's no. why a lot of these conspiracies are kind of brewing now. Is because, yeah, he was in a commercial, I think either sponsored by BlackRock or in a BlackRock commercial. Okay. And just for um, viewers' sake, not the coffee shop. Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, actually. <laughs> what is the uh, multi-billion dollar... BlackRock. Oh, yeah? So it's yeah. the same name? Yeah. But different things? Yeah. Okay. It's a big one, bro. And that's if everyone's tripping over this coffee brand thing... <laughs> I, I wanna, that's why I wanted to clarify, because I don't know. Yeah. yeah he's 20-something years old. This is a good question. That's why we need HR. <laughs> well, okay. Back to the CIA files, because yeah. that's a whole nother conspiracy... <laughs> Soy el fuego que arda tu piel. Soy el agua que mata tu sed. We yes. also gotta watch our. I mean, we've been cussing like a yeah. like a sailor. Yeah, yeah. I gotta stop cussing. You were saying about the CIA files, public records. But mm -hmm. I think it'd be fun if we all actually knew this shit. All right. <laughs> we just talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> stop cussing. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you motherfuckers like, ready <laughs> swear like, jar it's like the first thing we bro like two seconds bro. <laughs> yeah I know, I know bro and then I looked at you and said hey and you said yeah <laughs> operation timber sycamore Let's you can ahead, figure out down. whether this was good or bad either Ooh. way it was secret though yeah yeah classified but now I'm spilling the beans. <laughs> now since yours on the case. <laughs> CIA right. operation that supplied training and weapons to Syrian rebels so that the government would fall and Syrian President Bashar al-Assad would be removed from power. They gave pretty much their own people the tools to destroy themselves? No. Okay, this is the U.S., Bro. The U.S. The U.S. Yeah. supplied Syrian rebels mm. to pretty much fight back against the leader of Syria. We're not even like... In, there. No. But we supplied training and weapons to a bunch of rebel, like rebellion oh, people yeah. over there. So that, that, so that way they could overthrow their, their own president and their mm. government. Well, the part where it's like, okay, whether this is good or bad... Bashar al-Assad mm -hmm. was okay so the way he got into power was because his dad was in power so he inherited it pretty mm -hmm. much well, as soon as he got in there he kind of locked himself in went into a party mode he's young going oh. into a lot of deviant behavior but also putting strict lockdown on his people to wow. the point that they were uh protesting and yeah. rebelling before, obviously, the U.S. interfered and gave them technique and skill mm. 
and American Pride, they tried to protest themselves, and his response to it was to send soldiers out and just murder them. Wow. Yeah, so they just shot down the unarmed. Pro- yeah, 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 yeah. So then, yeah, then we end up supplying, fun- like, you know, funding mm-hmm. and training to the to the rebels. Okay. Now, this is, the idea is like being like, okay, we're the unsung heroes. We're doing the right thing, providing justice, liberty for all. I guess at that point, being judge, jury, and executioner, you know, you pick who you who you like on this side of the field, and you supply him with. Was there an like a, a treaty? Is there an, an an alliance with Syria that we have? Is there a reason why we would even know about this? Or I mean, I'm assuming we probably have intelligence, obviously CIA. Well, I mean, it could just be like a a real convenient file to release. Yeah. Compared to all the other it, classified oh, yeah. documents that probably <laughs> exist, you know what I mean? Yeah. So as far as like they're like, fine, you guys want to see something? <laughs> Look what we did. This one's not that bad. <laughs> you help Syrian rebels fight yeah. against their own tyrants. You look kind of good in this one. <laughs> and knowing the U.S., there's no yeah. way we did it for nothing. There's absolutely no way. You think we profited? Uh, do I think? Uh, <laughs> well, if I put my thought into it. Yeah. I mean, it could yes. have been like a IOU. Of I course think. it is. So next yeah. people who get in power. What like, resources do you have What here? happened? Yeah. yeah. Like, who do you have to thank? For sure. There's no way. Who showed you how to do an uppercut? <laughs> you guys didn't have Fool Nelson until we came. <laughs> Should they just have the president of Fool Nelson? <laughs> Watching Chuck Norris movies. I feel like whoever came to power after that, well, I should probably let you finish. So they get trained. Protesters yeah. get trained. I'm assuming they, with those tools, they overthrow the government. Yeah. Huge bloodshed, I'm assuming. Because uh, you have to go yeah. against his army that he has or whatever group is acting as the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. And I'm assuming they're e- going to execute him. Yeah. I, I mean, you're training you a bunch of, like, Uber drivers and shit, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's not, like, soldiers, the of rebels. Course. Yeah. The people that are just sick and tired of it. So, you got fucking veterinarians and shit trying to mm. do, like, oh, we, yeah. we're not going to yeah. take. <laughs> no. And so, they had the tools. They stripped the person to power. Yeah. What came after that is what I'm curious. When was this? Oh, that's a great question, bro. That's all I got. Yeah, I watched a long video on it, but then I forgot. You know, there's like ten conspiracies on here. Okay. Yeah. We get the next one. I just want to see because I, I don't know. I feel like we look pretty good in that one. Of course. Yeah. yeah. We we sound like we're doing the right thing that yeah. we don't do for our own people. When they were protesting about the like the Black Lives Matter movement. That protest, the yeah. amount of change that should have been, well, me not being the one to call the shots and not appreciating that there were some efforts to change and obviously bring light to attention to this this movement, I guess seeing it from like a like bird's eye view, if you will, the Black Lives Matter movement, when it had stopped trending, Right, because there was a factor. Yeah, the impact that was left felt more. It, it, it felt like there was more to be desired. That support could have been done here, not in the sense that's like, hey, you need to give us guns to overthrow you guys, but just the sense that you have a special unit that even if they did do this in secrecy, if they're going to these movements and stuff, don't plant people to make us look bad, right? Because they had like random people like dressed up as protesters throwing like stuff causing the riots like that was a very real thing that happened yeah they had like agents of course yeah and there could have been a more democratic diplomatic approach where you hey this is what you're doing this is how it should be done let's get let's get you guys to vote let's get you guys to make your demands feasible yeah. In a way that we can digest them and start to impact that change. Yeah. But instead, you got what Sincere was telling me, white people <laughs> bowing down. <laughs> in some random public in park. In some park. <laughs> the, like Harney Park, bro. It was just. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hope you guys seen that video. Oh yeah. I've seen um, so many things. Oh, like that was such them, a bro. crazy like, it time. Was, uh, it was rows of white people mm. bowing and crying <laughs> to the knees of like just oh six my. random blacks. Oh my gosh. Just six random blacks through the neighborhood. I would love to see the CIA files 50 years from now about how they, they must have been involved in that. They must have. There's no way. It was like one of the biggest of the of the century. I would Operation say. Black Smiles. <laughs> Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That would be interesting. But I'm I'm pretty sure there was some involvement, some foul play for sure. MK Ultra. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah that's probably like the, the most, most popular pop one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So CIA program to find drugs that could be used in interrogations and torture yeah, yeah. to procure oh to procure confessions and information mm. yeah okay I heard this one, yeah. so it's just like a, a tactic to get information like a truth out of people. serum yeah what they're trying to get but it was acid and it was acid but you know acid is different dude it is and then the interrogation wait, 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 wait. room is crazy i've had yeah. mushrooms yeah yeah i'm over here like yeah man i really <laughs> no i've had like one time i did mushrooms yeah i've done acid a couple times oh that's illegal yeah, so <laughs> mushrooms, bro. What? Actually, I don't think drugs are illegal in Portland. Okay. You can't sell drugs. Actually, people go on podcasts talk about like, oh man, I did cocaine, so yeah. much cocaine. Yeah. Oh, there was cocaine at the White House, and bro, nobody knows who did it. There's an entire podcast of like retired mafia bosses. Like, yeah, I killed like 42 people. <laughs> <laughs> I give yeah, like eighty seven thousand. Yeah, yeah. I think there's like a like a statute of limitation, so <laughs> yeah. Now we're good. Yeah, I think I was doing acid like last week, bro, and I was. <laughs> was it actually last week? No. Oh, okay. You trying to be controversial? <laughs> okay. I haven't done it in years. However many constitution <laughs> years it takes for it not to be illegal anymore. <laughs> Sorry, you doing acid? Did that make you want to tell the truth? Low key, I was lying my ass off. <laughs> I was telling people shit that I shouldn't have been telling oh, them, Oh, yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. I think I, I got been a in phone prison. call from you. Oh, my. That, oh, oh, that was the most annoying phone call <laughs> in my life. Oh, my. That yeah. felt like torture for me, to be honest. I was going through it. Oh, my God. What were you asking? Was it pizza? We, oh, was it pizza? Yeah. But I was off the rocker. For, no, it was for sure pizza. Okay. That makes sense. Mar Marcos. <laughs> What? Because <laughs> they wake me out of my sleep at this point. I don't know what they were doing. Being crackheads sitting on the floor. I don't, I don't know why you were doing it. Anyways, you you got to help me order pizza. Because <laughs> he does that stupid ass laugh. Sorry. Yeah, that's His laugh up. is rather unique. I want to get Domino's pizza. Wait, how do you order pizza? <laughs> Marco. <laughs> You gotta order pizza, bro. I want two pizzas, bro. <laughs> Though I got the buttons on this phone or so fucking weird. <laughs> Why did I call you? What do you want from me, bro? I was so upset. He's like, oh man, I gotta get pizza. And he hung up on me. He hung up on me. And I'm so positive. And I'm gonna ask you this and I'm gonna be upset. Yeah. Did you order pizza? Uh no nah, bro I can't even oh eat on my I can't, you can't eat on acid bro yeah, yeah, yeah so you just wasted everybody's time yeah facts but good thing you didn't order it and I wasn't I was I, I never gonna order yeah, it yeah yeah I, I don't There's think no way I don't know how you and, you're and then I would have had to pay for it yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's just, probably the only way I would even eat yeah, it yeah yeah <laughs> this blessing oh. you look like Jesus <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you you didn't tell the truth. Nah. You set people on a goose chase yeah. for something you'd even want. Facts. What did it do for you? Um, it was fun. Fun yeah. in what? Like aspect? I was playing with Play Doh. Mm -hmm. Um, I was watching a rave on the TV oh, that must with crazy. these glasses that are like 3D glasses, but they're specific for raves. Mm -hmm. So they made everything like. Oh wow! And I'm already fucking tripping, so mm -hmm. it's really like. Doom, 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 <laughs> doom, doom. Yeah, my mushroom experience was a little bit. It was interesting. Yeah. It was like yeah. Where were you? I was at my house. Oh yeah, sir. Yeah, I was at my house, and I didn't realize like my speaker has a feature on it, right? It's like this kind of boombox, right? Mm. 
in, in the center where the speaker is, they got these little lights. And they kind of, like, change colors and stuff like that. Like a little LED light, you know, fade from, like, orange to red, blue, purple, things of that nature, right? Okay. And so I had the lights turned off, but I was listening to music. And it was still doing, like, the colors and stuff, right? And, I, you know, I took a little, you know, yeah, I'm just going to eat this. Oh, okay. That was weird. And I was just chilling. And I'm, like, bobbing my head listening to music. And I don't know when I realized it, but for some reason, I was just chilling. I, like, looked over. And the colors that it was, because I'm, I'm, I got my TV on. This is a different color altogether, right? But anyway, I look at my speaker, and the colors are coming at me. It's like boom, boom, oh, boom. Shit. Not in an invasive way, but more yeah. in like a like just the sound waves of it, right? Hmm. And I knew that I was high because I was not listening to music. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm just looking at the colors of this thing, and I'm oh, like, shit. oh, that'd be cool if it was playing music. <laughs> and so I put I don't know what I put on. I put on some like it was probably some Thames to be real. Tough said, wait for you, man. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Listen to Thames, and I'm just like, wow, this feels like a like a music video. Like yeah. the effects of it are just like you can tell your body wouldn't do it like normally. Yeah. And something is having your your cognitive ability just trigger in a separate area, and those hallucinations really, really made me feel like I was so at peace because I was in a new environment, and yeah. I had nothing to really worry about in that new environment. Mm-hmm. It was more of like your first time experiencing like a park, you know, or you're at a playground. You just see all these instruments and you're like, oh, I wonder what that does, you know. Yeah. So I was sitting looking at my TV and I was like, oh, I, I wonder what I wonder what I could watch right now. I was like, oh, I'm going to listen to LSD by ASAP Rocky, which is really good. Yeah. I know I dream about it all day. I'm going through a very beautiful, yeah. honest experience. It's peaceful. And I almost feel, I don't know why, I feel Native American. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that means, but I'm just being honest with y'all. I felt Native American. Oh, I know why. I know why. I worked at a nonprofit for Native Americans. Like That's like their, their program and stuff. It's wow. all for them. And they gave me some stuff um, to do like smudging. They gave me some like grass and like rocks smudging. and like herbs. What is that? Um, it's like a cleansing, so they have either, so they have this sage, right? Mm-hmm. And depending on what you have available, it's either a bowl or like a like a shell or something. Um, but they get this specific type of sage that grows in like a certain part, and then they burn it, right? They crush it up, they burn it, and the the smoke that comes out of it, you know, they mm-hmm. go with like a feather, you know, and they start just cleansing your body just putting all over your body Uh and this yeah obviously like i'm saying it's meant to cleanse it so you want to get it on your hands your face the bottom of your feet to pretty much get rid of all that negative energy and it's the specific smell that comes with it that makes you kind of i don't know what it is but it just puts you very in tune have you been doing it no i did it that one time though oh yeah 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 i got you feel good yeah i felt really good i didn't have the uh i didn't have the sage I did have a piece of like the grass so, yeah, from it. Burning? Yeah, so I had like this little clamshell paper. <laughs> <laughs> I had this bit of a of a clamshell, and then I have this. Uh, I had a bit of this clamshell. I had some of the grass that they gave clam me. Clamshell. Yeah, like a little shell. Hmm. Yeah, they gave they gave me like you a little kit. Crump it up in the thing, right? What do you mean? Like no, the they have clamshell. Okay. Yeah, they gave me a little clamshell. I'm just put in. Okay, well, let's see what I have here. Okay, I have like some tobacco. Might as well. No, I didn't put tobacco. I put the, I got the clamshell. I have the grass, whatever sage I could find. I did put it in there, but it was predominantly that grass that they gave me. Yeah. And then I put a piece of my hair in there too. Holy shit! Um, and and from my understanding, from talking to some of them, uh, Native American culture, if somebody passes away, they cut their hair, so they. Just buzz it off sometimes, you know, or they'll uh-huh. cut the tail, right? So it's very symbolic. Uh-huh. Um, and so I put a piece of my hair in there, and then, yeah, I went outside, just kind of lit it up and stuff, and just kind of watched it. I didn't have, like, a feather or anything mm. to put it, but I kind of liked the smell of it. And I felt very in tune with with my my world there for some reason. Yeah. That's interesting. We want to thank you so much for tuning in to the podcast episode today. 
My name is Marcos. I've been your co-host. I'm Sincere. I'm the host. And we hope you have a lovely evening, a great night, a better morning. Take you know, care. Rock rocking afternoon. <laughs>